I have a a difficult time personally, uh, both answering that question and and feeling it because it, it feels almost presumptuous for me to think that I would know exactly where God would find pleasure with me. Um, we try to do the right thing and hope that God takes a favorable view of it. Um, but, 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 I, but I struggle with that, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, in kind of having knowledge of that. I will tell you that when I grew up, there, there's a verse in Deuteronomy which says, uh, one shouldn't say that the strength of my hand, the strength and might of my hand or arm uh, brought me this greatness. And when I was a kid, there was a self-effacing, very self-effacing view of this, which is promulgated by the great Jewish scholar Nachmanides, who lived in Spain, uh, and where he says that one should never say that uh, I succeeded or I was successful or it's because of me that I succeeded. On the other hand, he had a student uh, who lived a little bit after named Rabbi Nisim of Girona. Uh, Nachmanides lived in Barcelona and Rabbi Nisim lived, I don't know what, it was 50 kilometers north in Girona. He says, no, Nachmanides misunderstands the verse. And really what it means is we're all given God-given talents or genetics as the case may be. And we have talents like the runner and chariots of fire, the main character. And you have those. And you should say that I've taken my talents and maximized them with the right intentionality for the right service and the right aspiration. And so I, I relate more to that one, that, mm-hmm. that interpretation of Rabbi Nisim, where, where you're given some talent, you got to work really, really, really hard and with the right intentions to do this in the service of the right goal. And I hope and pray that it finds pleasure in in God's eyes.